back from the ways in which we're engaging the media, the ways in which we're engaging, uh, over-engaging socially with others, the things that we're stressing on, and uh, the things that we're using to cope, the addictions, the attitudes, the beliefs, the thought patterns that are holding us in particular frequencies and thought patterns, that we actually start today to consciously make a shift, a new choice, and just kind of go on a fast. Begin to allow yourself to purify in whatever ways you can. And what I found for myself is that it's actually challenging when I'm in the middle of a structure, in the middle of a reality that I've created for myself, to completely make that shift or choice. And so what helps is actually to do something new and different. Go to a place in nature, go to a body of water. If you can, get in that water and let the water begin the purification. Go to the sauna, go to the sweat lodge, go to a pool, get in a creek, swim in a lake, jump in the ocean, or just get in the shower. <laughs> Whatever you need to do to reset, take a nice long bath with the essential oils, whatever it is that's going to aquatically initiate your transition into really calling forth a time of purification. And then just say a little prayer and make a new agreement with yourself that you're going to prepare yourself in whatever ways you can to be ready. And then let go of any specific ideas that you have about what the 10, 10, 10 day is going to be, what the ceremony is, and commit yourself to being completely available on that day to listening, to following guidance, to letting go of the old structures of how the mind wants to control and dictate our experience, and instead step into the new intuitive frequency-based reality consciously by choosing to let go on that day and really stay committed to how spirit wants to guide you. And what I'm sensing about that for myself at least, and I think this may be true for others of us, is that we may find that we're actually drawn to do ceremony alone on this day, to be in a deep sacred space of clearing and intuiting and dropping more deeply into um, the resonant frequencies that we need to be on in or on and in in order to um, channel and ground the frequencies that may be opening up for others as they go into collective ceremony. So I think that's the most important thing that I want to impart right now is that to go into personal ceremony that that's okay, that that's also very much needed. Just individuals or families or just a few people to really consciously go into nature and to um, be in that sacred, silent, holy space. That deep listening, that commitment. Or you may feel called to suddenly join with a group of people who are gathering on that day. Maybe a group of people who are working for climate change, awareness, or an environmental issue, or who are gathering for prayer and light work and activation. I'm 
to follow our hearts and our intuition and listen deeply from that place. So more than anything, more than one specific thing that you can do is if you can just begin to set your intent for clearing and healing and purification and your intent for deep listening with your intuition. In other words, um, to follow your instructions, to listen, and let spirit guide the way. You will be so blessed, and all shall unfold, and we will all find ourselves exactly where we need to be in any given moment. Satoma sat gamaya, Tamasoma joti gamaya, Ritioma amritam gamaya. Om Satoma sat gamaya, Tamasoma joti gamaya, Ritioma amritam gamaya.